Day all week, Occupy Wall Street. That's one of the popular chants we are hearing out here tonight. I'm on Cedar Street near Broadway, and just take a look over my shoulder over there. You can see the packed crowd crowding Zuccotti Park tonight. So how long will the city allow the park to be occupied? Indefinitely, according to Mayor Bloomberg, so long as nobody breaks the law. Night falls at Zuccotti Park in Lower Manhattan, and the size of the crowd only seems to rise. With each night, Occupy Wall Street starts to actually look like an occupation of Wall Street. And there was a lot of action during the day, too. Children! Children! Reading, writing, and protesting three weeks plus into the anti-corporate greed gathering that has consumed this park. And today was Bring Your Kids to Protest Day. Many were off for Columbus Day, so parents like Robert Torino hope to teach them a real-life civics lesson. You have to leave the safety of your home to get what you want. You have to sometimes jeopardize safety to get what you want. At least two notable New Yorkers put in appearances, hip-hop impresario Russell Simmons and the Reverend Al Sharpton, who hosted his radio show from right here. I think the goal is expressing the outrage of 1% controlling the wealth of the country. And the movement is spreading far beyond its home on the Hudson. These snapshots show the growing solidarity protest from all across America, over 70 cities and towns reportedly under the Occupy banner so far. This 67-year-old university professor and Brooklyn native dropped everything to flock to the park in New York. He says it all reminds him of the 60s. In many ways, it reminds me of uh, my, own, uh, my own youth, and uh, I'm delighted to see young people beginning to pick up the, the bat baton of change and of reform, and, and who are really genuinely interested in, in the future of our country. Keep walking. Thank you. And the price of protest? NYPD confirms overtime is coming in at over $2 million so far. That's over 70000 bucks a day. And we're back now live, and you're looking at Zuccotti Park. It remains as packed as ever. The Teamsters Union has stepped forward to express their support for Occupy Wall Street. Other unions are jumping on board as well. What's going on here looks like it is nowhere near ending. In fact, it may have only just begun. Reporting live tonight from Lower Manhattan, I'm Peter Thorne, PIX11 News. Right now, let's get over to Marvin Scott. He's on Manhattan's west side.